Hello everybody, my name is Jack and welcome back. Welcome back for another Italian language lesson. Today we are dealing again with numbers. So in a previous video you can find the tab up here. First I invite you to uh, watch that video about numbers because this next step is about numeral adjectives. So you could ask me, what's the function of numeral adjectives? Well, you know that you can use numbers to describe properties of items. Because of course, in the majority of case scenarios, you're going to find yourself trying to describe how many things are present in a determinate context. So it is way important not only being capable to count in Italian, but also to transform the numbers into the corresponding adjectives. There are two cars. Ci sono due auto. Two, due, in this case scenario, works as an adjective because describes a property of the cars. In English, as happens in Italian, the distinctions is made by two main categories at which the numeral adjectives are belonging. Actually, we can find cardinal numeral adjectives and ordinal numeral adjectives. In Italian, aggettivi numerali cardinali and aggettivi numerali ordinali. So what's the difference between cardinal and ordinal? Between cardinali and ordinali. Cardinali means that you are referring to how many items there are in a certain context. While the aggettivi ordinali express an order. Often you use ordinal numeral adjectives when you are listing a chart or there is a numerical order of things. First, second, third, those are examples of ordinal numeral adjective. But let's go in order. Cardinal adjectives are very easy to master because they are identical to Italian numbers. So the similarities with English is very uncanny. I mean, as in English you can say there are two cars. In Italian, as I said before, you can use the same pattern. Ci sono due auto. If you place that due before a noun, you create an adjective. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's the spirit. Another example. There are 11 bananas. Ci sono undici banane. As 11 in Italian is pronounced undici, you can transform the number into adjective when you place that number near a noun. Cardinal numeral adjectives, aggettivi numerali cardinali, have the same characteristics. One most important one is they differ from other adjectives because they are invariable. So the numeral adjectives, the cardinal ones, are not affected by the changes in number and gender. Of course, if you list more than one item, it is obvious that you are dealing with plural. One kid, un bambino, two kids, due bambini. So the adjective in Italian doesn't change. Uno, due, tre, quattro remains the same, but of course, as in English you place an S after one, in Italian, you have to mind the number of the noun following cardinal numeral adjectives. The only exceptions are represented by, respectively, the number, the adjective uno, because it goes to its feminine form un bambino, one boy, una bambina, one girl. Another exception is mille which is translated into thousands because mille is mille when we are referring to a thousand but when we must be more specific ten thousands in Italian is going to be 
10.000 mille becomes mila another pro tip the adjective uno loses the final vowel o and undergoes the elision Their function is to represent the order of a numeric series. Like, you are the first, tu sei il primo. John came second, John arrivò secondo. They are a little bit difficult because they are similar to numbers but yet different. The exact order is gonna be primo, secondo, terzo, Quarto, quinto, sesto, settimo, ottavo, nono, decimo. Then you go with composite numbers. Undicesimo, dodicesimo, tredicesimo, quattordicesimo, quindicesimo, sedicesimo, diciassettesimo, diciottesimo, diciannovesimo, ventesimo. Then... Ventunesimo, ventiduesimo, ventitreesimo, ventiquattresimo, venticinquesimo, and so on, so on, so on. So the most difficult part is counting from 1 to 20 because they are very different one from each other. But after you pass the second 10, uh, the ordinal numbers are exactly the same. Ventuno goes ventunesimo. You take the radix 21 and you add esimo. And so you can order stuff from the 20th to like infinite. Cento centesimo, cento ventesimo, millesimo, mille centesimo, and etc. And most important thing to remember is that ordinal numeral adjectives in Italian, they change their form depending by the number of the gender. Here we have the changing in the gender. First boy, primo ragazzo. First girl, prima ragazza. Plural, primi bambini. First kids. Ladies and gentlemen, class is dismissed. Remember please to contribute to my work subscribing, hit the like button, but most importantly, leave some comments. Yeah, but most importantly, remember, speak like a genius.